Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what is mean by mini batch. So before introducing mini batch, let's try to identify what will be the scenario without mini batch. So suppose I have created a model for a training set having 6 million images. So while training, 6 million images will be taken and corresponding output will be generated. So in order to generate the output, weights of neural network will be randomly initialized. Now after getting output, we will again update the weight of our model. So this case will be for the first epoch. In second epoch again, 60,000 images will be taken, output will be generated and after that, weight will be updated. So in this scenario, in order to update the weight, we have to wait up to the last image. So it requires hard and considerable amount of time to update the weight. Also, if suppose epochs are 10, then only 10 times we are allowing neural network to update the weights. So there is less chance to get more accurate result. Okay. So there is one concept called as mini batch. So with the help of mini batch, we can reduce this problem. In mini batch, total training data set is divided into certain batches. So suppose we have created a batch of size 6000. So likewise, First batch will include 6000, second batch will include 6000, third batch will include 6000. Likewise, there will be 1000 batches. So this is for input. And same is true for the actual output. So in actual output also, we will create batches of size 6000 and its count will be again 1000. Now, scenario gets changed. So we have again created a model. So first batch having 6000 images will be taken as input error will be identified and on the basis of that error we will update the weight now next time next batch will be in picture we will identify the output and again we will update the weight this process will continue for 1000 time in the first epoch so in single epoch itself, we are updating the weights for 1000 time. Now if suppose we have used 10 epochs, then we will update the weights for 10,000 time. And we are giving neural network a considerable chance to update the weights. Okay, so what should be the batch size? We have to specify a number and we have to choose that number carefully. If we are using very large value for mini batch, then we are providing less chance to update the weight for a neural network and considerably it will be less accurate. So in just 10 weight updation, we might not get the accuracy that we want. Coming to the small value like one, in such cases, we are updating the weights of neural network frequently. And if one of the example is guiding wrongly, then taken away from what we want to achieve. Also, since we are updating the weights for each example, weights will be updated for 6 million time in our previous example, which will make training a little bit slower. So mini batch size should not be very large or should not be very small. It should be a moderate one. Generally batch size is placed in the power of 2 like 512, 1024 and so on. Do not use 
mini batch for small data set so till now we have covered up the theoretical part of mini batch now let's see how to include mini batch for the tensorflow model okay now let's execute our model with uh, model.fit method without any batch size we have used epochs is equal to 10 so after first epoch weight will be updated as we can see our training is completed within of time as we are just updating weight after each epoch now let's add batch size over here is equal to 1024 okay now let me rerun this cell again okay so this is the way to include the batch size we can also specify smaller batch size and we will check its effect now we can see that training is quite slower compared to the previous cases weight updation will be done for each training example that's why we are getting huge amount of time to train our model okay now our training is completed for batch size is equal to one so this is how we can use batch size while training our model so in summary i can say that by setting batch size with considerable number we are allowing neural network to update the weights by considerable number of times which will help us to increase the accuracy thank you for watching the video